Yeah, so so great, great question. And it's helpful that obviously he's had an MRI, so we know that you know the, the cause is indeed intervertebral disc disease, at least for the episode eight, 18 months ago. Um, I think the decision as far as intervention is is sort of there's a number of different factors. There's not only sort of one thing that that we or you should use to make that decision. I think in part it is certainly the severity of, of symptoms. So how severely affected you know are we? Um, the severity of the MRI changes. So is it a highly compressive disc versus is it just a series of, of very mild sort of bulging type discs? Um, and then the frequency of the episodes. So you know that it's becoming recurrent is obviously a concern. The question is, is that a recurrence of this same same disc versus a different disc? But ultimately, things that that you know we'll utilize to sort of help someone make that decision is the severity of compression on MRI. So if we have a highly compressive disc on MRI even though two thirds of the more mildly affected patients will still get better, just, just like thankfully Jimmy did, um, up to 50% of them will have a, a recurrence where their symptoms come, come back from that same disc sort of acting up over, over time. And so um, the degree of compression obviously is, is something to utilize how severely affected he was and then what the sort of recurrence is, meaning is it something that's continually causing him a problem. And generally if we have the opportunity to intervene before paralysis, that's that's always preferred. But you know, as you mentioned, it's kind of a fine balance of not wanting to do surgery on on patients that you know maybe don't don't need it if they're going to get better either way. Of course, we'd rather them get better without surgery. However.